Hello guys and welcome to another video on the channel. In this one we're going to start addressing some of the issues with the Pathfinder. And this morning I took a little trip to the junkyard and luckily found almost everything that I needed. So let's see what we got. We got our left and right um, grill pieces that go up by the fog lights in the front. We've got left and right rear um, speakers that go in the doors. We got the front speakers that go in the doors. It's all a Bose system, so that's perfect. Um, the head unit is something that we did not get, but we did end up getting two of these immobilizers. So, with that being said, I'm going to plug one in and see if it's not a see if it is a plug and play type deal. Um, if not, we're going to dig into this and see if we can't switch whatever the motherboard is in the bad one, the broken one, and switch it into one of these um, to see if the programming will stay with it and, and see if we can't figure out how to get this to work. Because from what I've read is you either have to go to the dealer and get things programmed, which can cost hundreds, or you need to swap over the the ECU, the BCM, um, the all the ignition or the ignition, all the door locks. If because you need the key, you need the the ECU, and it all is tied together. So, if I can get, if it is plug and play, that's going to be a super easy fix. I think this cost me five bucks or something at the pull apart. Um, if it does need to be programmed, I'm going to try to take it apart like I said in the previous video, and see if we can't um, switch that stuff over, which is hopefully possible based on how this thing clips together. I'm hoping that I can get in there and do that. Um, that is enough talking. Let's, uh, let's get to it and see if we can't get this thing started. I'm also gonna bring my computer to see if those, um, what I get for codes with the new piece um, in there. I'm gonna clear them because they're I did clear them yesterday, but they came back immediately um, That was expected, but um, I am going to plug this in and see if clearing the codes with the new one in there fixes the issue or not So let's do that and to do that. I do need my jumper pack Which hopefully it's charged Oh, yeah, we're good enough. So Let's get that hooked up, and then from there we'll switch that out, plug it in, see if we can't get her started. So let's get to it. All right guys, so we have a new one in there, or one that we got from the junkyard. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hook up the battery to the terminal. I'm going to put my scanner here. Okay, so we're getting power. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and see what we get for codes here, just to show you guys what we got initially. So basically what I did is I was taking apart and unplugged this 
So I just plug that back in and we're good to go. All right, so first code here is P1610, which is the NATS is the Nissan uh, security system acronym. I'm not sure what it stands for. And then we got another code, which is P1615. Um, I think it was, this is the new one, but I think it was 1614 with this broken one. So I'm going to clear it and see if we still get the same issue. Yep, P1610. With that being said, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take this apart, bring this one over, take this apart, and see if we can't save the uh, software on the broken one and get it switched over to another one. Um, so with that being said, let's see if we can't get that done. Alright guys, so I was able to pull it apart. This is the, not the, this is this one that came out of the car. The junkyard car. Oh, excuse me. Um, so basically, what I've run into is I can get the motherboard out, but my problem is I won't be able to get the, the original one out of the car out without breaking it because these pins that go to the connector are actually molded. So those two pins are molded into the plastic and then when they place this board on there they they solder it won't focus but they solder those pins in and I can't get those out of there is my problem so I'm going to accept defeat on this and I'm going to give the dealership a call and see what kind of pricing they'll give me for that because um, that's pretty much trash I do have another one which I put into the car to try that um, I wanted I was trying to try different things and nothing really worked out so uh, I tried some cycling and some stuff I found on the internet nothing really worked so in spirit of being defeated um, I'm going to install these vents in the front to complete the front bumper um, before I give Nissan a call and see what it's going to cost me to get that immobilizer programmed. One of these days I'm really going to have to invest in a good programmer so I don't have to keep going to the dealership for this stuff. Um, but. It is what it is. Left hand. So this just has some clips. Should be really pretty simple. Should just snap right in there. Just like so. And there's that. <laughs> we will do the same exact thing for the other side. Right here. Just like that. And just like that, our front bumper is complete. And I like it. So, with that being said, I'm going to call the dealership, see what kind of pricing we can get on that, and then I will share that information with you guys. And then um, I think we're going to call that a video. So, let's get that, give that dealership. Alright guys, so I called Nissan and they said that the master mechanic wasn't there so they don't know if they can use the part that I have and pro reprogram that or if I will have to buy a new part. They said they'd give me a call back on Monday, which is fair enough. The guy well, didn't know enough or have enough information to tell me straight up so they're going to call me back on Monday. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to have to wait till Monday to see if this thing starts. I don't really want to, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, but I will say that the guy, super nice, um, said for whatever reason, he said he distinctly remembers it a couple years ago costing about $1,200 to 
to buy a new one and program it which I assume that's labor to take it apart and all that crap too but that seems a little bit ridiculous um, with the software I could easily have had this done in an hour tops that's tear down put it back together and everything so we'll see what he comes back with on Monday and uh, see if it's something we're gonna see if we can bypass or if we're gonna go ahead and bring it to the dealership and have them hook us up I'm hoping that it's not gonna take long and that they can use the one that I have the guy in the parts department at least this is what he told me seemed to think that we could reprogram the one that I've got but like I said when the master mechanic comes in on Monday he will be able to give us more information on that so with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Please stay tuned um, and see what we're going to do about this immobilizer. And uh, hopefully we'll get to hear this thing run in either the next video or the following video. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go ahead and take care of all the other stuff while I wait um, to hear back and decide on that. So there may be the, the interior video where we throw a lot of that stuff back together. Um, and also search for that um, head unit that uh, that we need. So I may go ahead and throw those doors together in the next video or I may wait and do the immobilizer. So stay tuned, see what happens with this Pathfinder. Um, and also, as always, I appreciate all the support. Um, let's keep this thing going and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.